and welcome back to Lanty Court videos. Today's Lanty Court video comes from Joseph McDuff, uh, or is it McDuffle? Uh, Joseph McDuffle. Sorry, Joseph McDuffle. This question: What Lanty Court does Kazuma uh, Yagame belong in? And for those of you who don't know who this character is, allow me to briefly review history. Kazuma Yagame is the main character, more or less, of Kazume Stigma Stigma, which translates to Stigma of the Wind. Uh, it's in, in basic terms, there's there's magic in the world, but it's derived from spirits. There are four elements of spirits, wind, water, earth, and fire. He belonged to the fire clan, but could not actually use magic, so he was basically banished from the clan. Well, years later, he comes back, and now becoming the contractor of the wind. He made a contract with the wind spirits, and he's basically now the strongest wind user, uh, um, our strongest user of wind magic, and arguably the strongest character overall in the series. Um, he's basically kind of just level-headed, mature, but the, I mean, he's got other facets. He really had a love at one uh, point in his life that he lost. Um, he does have like a enraged demon form, if you will. Not really demon form, but a very dark form of him that uh, does trigger occasionally. So he is diverse, he is varied as a character, but he is also just the main the main hero. So, what Lanta Court does this guy belong in based on the personality from the people who obviously know this character? Well, let's uh, let's axe off a couple of these right now. He's not a Black Lantern as he has not died, nor is he enwrapped in death. When he's using, like, the Black Wind, you could maybe make an argument. He's, like, basically in the embodiment of death, but that's not a really good argument. He is alive, so... That works for white, but besides that, it's questionable whether anything else works. I mean, it's not. I mean, he's not really doing much to continue to say uh, keep life, uh, you know, stable or going. He has taken life before. He's not opposed to wiping out the lives of you know evil spirits. So I don't know. White's probably not a very solid option. He's not a lantern of avarice. He really isn't greedy per se. Uh, he's also not a lantern of compassion. Not because he doesn't have it, because it's just not as the most defining trait. Now, one of the Lantern Corps, I think, is a very likely candidate, as with most anime protagonists, as well. These pro anime protagonists always have to overcome things, um, and overcome great uh, fear and odds and diversity with their great willpower, and Cosmo is no exception. He had to overcome the fact he could not use magic, and then gain the ability uh, to not only use wind magic, but be the strongest wind user. So... And green is a perfectly acceptable lantern uh, color for him. Uh, another one I don't think he belongs into is rage. Not because he can't be an angry, it's just the fact that it's not, I think, the emotion that dominates him. I just don't think it's it works out effectively. The next one I think he could qualify for, and this is a bit of a different one, but yellow. And that's because when people, especially early on, I'm, to, to be fair, I know there's a manga for this as well, but I'm going off of the anime. Um, a lot of people are scared of Kazuma. Like, in terms of what they know he's capable of and what he can do, people are scared to shit of this guy. Particularly, like, those who actually know what being a contractor for the Wind Spirits actually means. Uh, so, there are definitely, and, you know, some of the feats we've seen, like, I know in the manga it actually goes a lot crazier, but in, like, the anime, he cuts through a dimension with wind. Like, he's trapped in basically, like, a, a dimensional, like, room, basically, like a prison. And he just looks at the camera like, okay, I'm bored, and just cuts himself out of the dimension. And that's frightening as hell. Um, so, yeah, I would say he definitely would qualify for a Fear Lantern Corp. Definitely. I don't believe, though, he would qualify for a Lantern Corp Hope. And now, here's the thing. I'm not saying he couldn't and inst doesn't instill hope. He's the main character. People might look to him for um, for guidance and for support and for hope. But the thing is, he's technically the co-main character. The main lead is actually a female, technically. Um, and she definitely doesn't look for him to hope very often. She's more or less angry at him half the time because he just keeps one-upping her. And she's, like, they're supposed to be, like, you know, a prodigy, but she's not. Um, so, I 
I'm not saying Hope couldn't work, but I don't feel it to be the strongest one, so it's the least likely option. The last option is the Star Sapphires, and this is the one I think is also an impossibility, because his whole... He was in love. He met someone and fell in love, and she lost her, and I feel like some of his motivation is due to her death. In fact, I feel like a lot of his motivation, just how he acts, is just in part because of the fact she died. So, I feel like that is a can a strong candidate for a Lantern Corps that could have belonged in, into. So, I think these three, fear, uh, will, and love, are all general possibilities. Which one do I think is the most likely? Hmm. It's been a while since I rewatched the series, but um, from what I can remember... I, while love is a strong possibility, I think the fear that he instills in some people and the amount of willpower he has are just greater on a greater level. So it then comes down to will and fear. For my money, I'm going to go with will. And that's due to the fact that it's not just the fact he had overcome and have great willpower. He has to have a lot of confidence and faith in himself. Now, that confidence did waver at one point when he kind of went rogue with like the Black Wind, but he, he quickly got it back. And that being said, Lanterns have lost their will before, too, and then gotten it back. So, I think Will is the most likely candidate. I honestly think it's probably a tie, then, between love and fear. Fear may be edging itself out because it's the thing we see more of. People's fear of him or individuals' fear of him and his power. Uh, and I and the I say that comes up second as opposed to love, even though love's probably a very strong candidate due to the fact that we actually don't really know all of his motivation for what he does. We assume that the love he had for his girlfriend was a big motivating factor in why he does what he does, but there's just nothing that actually blatantly said that. So, I don't know. That, that's my opinion, though. Anyway, thanks for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. I just win Star Wars, Super Magic, what if, anything to do in the channel. Put that in the comments below. Let me know I'll get to that at some point. So hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.